reading the Word of God, that's where you're going to be strong. All right? Why do you think the world tells you you don't need church? Because they're not spiritual. They have no idea what you need. They're flesh. So of course they're going to tell you, oh, you don't need to go to church. Right. You don't need to. Uh, you don't need to go to church. You don't need to be a Christian. You don't need to read your Bible and all that. They have no idea. Why would we even listen to somebody in the world when it comes to stuff like that? Right. They have no idea. But the world will tell us all the time. Oh, you have no need for that. You don't need God. I want to tell you. I know I need God, and the reason I know I need God is because I depend upon Him each and every day. Amen. And I am with Him each. And every day. And I, there's no way I'll listen to somebody outside who has no idea, who has never had a relationship with God. Amen. That's like somebody telling me that's never ate chocolate ice cream before. Oh, you, you wouldn't like that. Why, would, why, do you even, why do you even eat that? Right? Man, I, I eat, there's a reason I eat it. Because it's good. It does something to me. I tell you what, I love Hershey Kisses. The little Hershey Kisses. Uh -huh. They're good. Something about them. You eat one and man, you can eat another one and another one and another one. You know what? You, There's no way that you can convince me. Now, I know they're not good for me. Especially if I eat a whole bunch of them. But there's no way that somebody could come to me and convince me that these are not good. And the same is true with my walk with God and being full of the Spirit. When the world and the enemy of my soul comes to tell me, oh, you don't need God, you're wrong. And there's no way I would ever listen to somebody who does not have God. Amen. You see, I know because I have tested, I have tasted, and I have tried. I live with God uh, all of my life, uh, and therefore I know I need God. Right. And somebody say amen. 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 And I'm going to share one thing with you before I close, and I've got nowhere into this uh, lesson to where I want it to be. Uh, so, but we'll stop right here when we talk about the enemies of our soul. But I want to let you know that God's given us a victory over our enemy. Amen. I was listening to something this week and it was very intriguing as I began to think about it. Many things in this world and the things that are contrary to the Word of God are addicting. Very yeah. addicting. Yeah. Alcohol is addicting. Right. Sex is addicting. Mm -hmm. right. Pornography is addicting. Right. Smoking is addicting. All these things. Partying in extremes, is even addictive. Right. People who party just love to party and they want to party all the time. Yeah. Just lose their mind. Mm. You know, and I, I, I thought, and I was, listening to, as I was listening to something this week, a person pointed this out. This man said he began to pray, Lord, let me become addicted to you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me become addicted to you. I want to be addicted to praying and to living and to serving you. You know, because the world is so addictive in, all, in everything that they do. He said the Lord spoke to him and said, I don't work that way. If you have to be, you see that the world gets a hold of you and what happens with an addiction is in the beginning it's good. You like it. You, you enjoy it until it comes to a point in your life when you realize it is destroying you. And then all of a sudden you want to get rid of it. And guess what? You can't because you are addicted to it. And that's the things of this world. They are addictive. And they are addicting. And once they get a hold of you, what happens is you're addicted. And then you wake up one day, I want to, I want to break these chains. And you can't because those chains have you bound. See, the Lord said, I want you to do this because it's your choice. Right. And yes, sometimes it will be a struggle to make yourself get up and go to church because you don't want to. And yes, sometimes it will be a struggle to make yourself get up and pray because you don't want to. And yes, it will be a struggle sometimes to say no to the world and yes to the Lord. But you go ahead and do it anyway. You see, because I want you to fall in love with me and I want you to do it because it is your choice uh, and not because you are addicted and I made you do it. Yes. And you see, in the long run, you'll have victory because you made the choice to live 
and to serve God. As you stand to your feet tonight, I want you to realize that God has given us victory over this world. This spirit that He's given us and this life that we're living, it is not addicting. It's a choice that we make. But this choice that we make gives us victory over the world. And it gives us victory over our enemy. I want to ask you to come and play something softly for just a moment. And I want you to bow your heads and I want you to close your eyes because I want somebody here tonight. I want someone here to make a conscience, a very conscious decision on what you're doing and how you're living your life. I want someone here tonight as our eyes are closed and our heads are bowed. We're all on a path somewhere. We're all on a journey somewhere. We're either headed to heaven or we're headed in the opposite direction. See, you may be fooling even yourself. But it's time that you wake up and realize, God, I do need you. I do want you. I do want to live in the Spirit and not in the flesh. I do want to live my life. There have been people trying to direct you and guide you in a different way. I want to tell you tonight. The pool, the spirit of this world that has been pulling on you. It doesn't have total control. If you will open your heart and your mind tonight and say, Lord, I realize how much I need you. Lord, I know, God, I need you more than anything else. He'll give you the victory that you need. He'll give you the strength that you need. He will. He will. He will. Lord Jesus, tonight, why don't somebody come behind these who are praying and lay your hand on their shoulder and pray for strength, pray for help that they may need tonight. Lord Jesus, God, we need you more than we need anything else, God. I thank you for the victory that only comes through Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, for the help that only comes through you, Lord Jesus. I realize, God, I need you more than anything else.